So food sensitivities is the next topic that we're going to talk about here. So why is knowing what foods you're sensitive to a really important thing? Because it's going to affect your body's ability to lose weight. So if you're still overweight and you've struggled to lose weight, this is the next area you need to look into because it could be inflammation that's stopping your body from losing weight. Another reason is your food sensitivities affect your energy all day long. Now, if you don't wake up with pretty solid energy after a full night's sleep, of course, whatever that is for you, and if you don't have pretty solid energy all day long, chances are you're probably either not eating healthy, or if you are eating healthier, you think you're eating healthy, you're eating foods that you're sensitive to, and that's robbing your body of energy all day long. Because your body's got to work to try to now eliminate these toxins. Even though they're not toxins, when you eat them, your body treats it like a toxin because it doesn't like that food for whatever reason. And you're actually doing harm to your body every time you eat that food. So basically, if you want to lose weight easier and faster, if you want to increase your performance in your workouts and in your life in general, just how you feel, how you act because you have better energy, then finding out what foods you're sensitive to and cutting them out of your diet is going to make a huge difference in your life and in the results you see from everything you do that affects your body. Now, everybody has some kind of food sensitivities, whether they know it or not. They may not have drastic ones that affect them every single day, which is good. I would still recommend everybody do some work to find out what their food sensitivities are so that you can cut them out, see how much better you feel not eating them, and also, when you're eating foods you're sensitive to, you're causing damage on the inside of your body every time you eat them, and you don't want to do that because we want to live as long and healthy as we possibly can. So cutting certain foods out, that's going to help you do that much better. Why do people have so many food sensitivities? There are a couple of main reasons that it comes down to. One is poor food quality. So when someone consistently consumes something like dairy that is brought from cows raised in factories where they're not allowed to move around, their body builds up a lot of toxic material because they get really fat and they get really toxic. The reason they do that is because people like the taste of really fatty meat. So these cows are corn fed or grain fed when they're not supposed to be. Their body does not react very well to that. They get a lot of toxic buildup in their body and they get a lot of disease. And one of the things that farmers will do in a factory to get rid of the disease in the cows so the milk is not diseased is they give them antibiotics. Well those antibiotics now go into your milk that you drink. They also give them pro-hormones to make them grow faster, which also go into your milk and you then drink those. There's a lot of nasty stuff that comes out of milk, but because of the low quality of inorganic milk that does not come from healthy grass-fed cows that are able to roam around freely on a dairy farm, because the quality is so low, when people consume a low quality product like that consistently, they develop intolerances and sensitivities to those kinds of foods. This is one of the reasons so many people in America and in other countries where the milk quality is low, so many people have milk allergies and sensitivities. <clears throat> Something else you want to know about food sensitivity is you don't have to get a full-blown drastic reaction to show that you have a food sensitivity. You can have a more mild internal reaction such that you don't feel it right away that day, but it accumulates over time and either causes serious health issues or just really robs you of your energy and how you feel. So all of us really want to find out what these food sensitivities are. Now the next reason so many people have food sensitivities is a lack of rotation and a lack of variety in their daily diet. We all tend to go based on what's convenient, probably what's the cheapest, and what are the easiest foods for us to prepare and for us to prepare for our kids, what's easiest, uh, we do that consistently. And we know that we can plan for it and we can factor it in. So that way we don't have to do something new all the time and try to figure out what new foods we want to buy and how to prepare them. Well, this can be a bad thing because doing this and eating the same foods on a daily basis for weeks, months, and years causes our body to respond differently to those foods. A good friend of mine did that with bananas and avocados. He ate so many of them over the course of about 10 years that now when he eats them, his throat swells up almost to the point where he can't breathe. It's a pretty serious reaction. Now, we definitely don't want to get to that point, but we don't even want to get to the point of where our body has internal inflammation that's compromising how we feel and how we perform. So we want to find out what these food sensitivities are. And basically, there are two ways you can go about doing this. 
you can either order a blood work kit, and the one that I like here, because it's the one that I've ordered, is through lifeextension.com, and it's called the Food Safe Allergy Test. Now, they have a lot of blood tests that you order through Life Extension. Usually, you go to a lab, and they take your blood, and they send it into Life Extension. This one, the Food Safe Allergy Test, they send you the kit, and you just take your blood samples at home. And then you send it in. You don't put a needle in your arm. You just prick your finger. You get a little bit of blood on a card, and then you send that card into them. It's easy to do. They even have a video when you order it showing you how to do it. They then test your blood with 95 different known allergen and sensitivity causing foods. And then they give you a full report on that. And you can call the people that work for Life Extension, the health specialists, and they'll help you with that report and give good recommendations on what to eat and how to make it convenient and how to rotate your food frequently. So you can live a better, healthier life with more energy, better performance, better sleep, better recovery, all that good stuff. The other way you can do it is you can do a food elimination plan, which is much cheaper. The Life Extension Blood Work Kit costs $200. Now doing a food elimination plan basically doesn't cost you anything except to buy the food that you eat on the plan. Now this is pretty tough to do. You go four weeks and you cut all these known sensitivity causing foods out of your diet. Now you're going to feel amazing when you do this. First you're going to feel nervous because you don't know how to shop, but it takes a little work. In the next video we're going to go through that food elimination plan. So you have one of a couple of options that you can do to start finding out what your sensitivities are, how to cut them out, and how to move on with your life and feel better than probably you've felt in a really long time. So let's finish this video right here. Next video is going to be on the food elimination plan.